So now in this video, we will be applying the fundamentals of animation which we learned in our previous video to animate the YouTube header. Now what I want is when user scrolls down, the header should be invisible and as soon as the user scrolls up, the header should be visible again. So now let's see how to do that. Okay. So here I have opened two components. One is the home and one is the header and we have imported our header in here, right? So let's begin now. So for, so I will be importing animated module from react native and I'll be creating an initial uh, constant variable. I will give it a name of scroll S C R O double scroll Y and this will be equal to new animated dot value. And for now, let's give this a zero, right? Now what I will do, I will change this value when user scrolls down. How to do that? For that, uh, we'll be coming to this flat list and in the flat list, we can here give a prop that is called as on scroll, right? On scroll, uh, we'll be receiving a function in here and inside this function, we'll be receiving an event, right? Now from this event, from this event, I want to extract the native event and in the native event has something called content offset and from that the Y value like so. And I now need to update this scroll Y to the value which this has. How to do that? For that, I'll be using this scroll Y, scroll Y dot set value. Uh, S C T V A L U E set value and inside this I'll be passing this. Now this this e dot native event dot content offset dot y has the value of how much units the user has scrolled down, right? And we are storing this that unit in this in this scroll y. Oh, here I need to write scroll y instead. Sc not screen S C R O double L why this variable which we created above uh, let me see the spelling is exactly same right okay so you are updating the scroll y with the value of how much unit the user has scrolled now what we want to do is we want to detect how much unit the user has scrolled and accordingly we want to animate the header so we need to interpolate over this scroll y to get the input for uh, our animation right for our oh not for the animation for our header animation right how to do that let's interpolate over this scroll y value s c r o double l y dot interpolate uh, dot i n t interpolate and inside we'll be passing an object here i'll be writing input range and input range will be from 0 to 45 now why i'm picking this 45 because our header height is 45 and in here I'll be writing output range and output range will be 0 and to negative of 45 now I'll explain you why I'm giving this in negative direction and I'll be storing this in a variable constant variable of T-R-A-N-S-L-A-T translate Y like so let me make this Y capital like so now what we are doing in here is we'll be translating this header in negative of the 45. That means this header will be moving upwards. Now, in order to move this header upwards, we'll be need to uh, here write the negative value. So when user will scroll 45 units down, uh, the header will translate in 45 units upward direction. Yeah, that is why we are giving this 45. Now, what I need to do is I need to surround this header with this animated view. Right, so here I'll be writing animated and I am in animated dot view and I will put this header inside this view like so. Now in here I need to give this little bit of styling in here, style and style I need to uh, put here T R A N S F R M transform and transform is basically an array and inside this array I want to translate T R A N S L A T E translate in Y and this will be equal to our translate y which, which we created here right so i'll copy this up and i will paste it in here 
and for now I will go to this header and I will comment this margin top in here. I will comment this out for now. I will save this file and I will save this file and let's see if the animation works. So we have done something wrong in here. Oh, I have made a silly mistake here in here. View V should be capital in here. Uh, my bad. Okay, now let's save this again and let's have a look if animation is working in here. Now let's try to search for some videos. Let's search for songs. And I will search for songs. And why it is taking so long? Okay. I'll press the back button and if I scroll down, now you can see header has been moved upward. But if I scroll down, oh, I need to go to all the way upward to see the header. This is a basically one of the issue. Let's say if I'm scrolling in the, it in down direction, the header is getting disappeared. But to see the header again, I need to scroll all the way to the up. Now I want that I should be able to see the header if I scroll from the any point. Let's say I am animating this, uh, I am moving this in upward, I should be able to see the header. I don't need to uh, uh, move to all the way to the up to see the header. How to do that? In order to do that, we can make use of something called as diff clamp. Now in the documentation here, you can read the, about the diff clamp creates a new animated value which is limited between two values and in here they have mentioned that. Uh, the example for example to show the nav bar when scroll up and to hide it when scroll down so we can make use of the disk div clamp how to do that and to do that here we'll be writing const and i'll be giving this uh, div clamp clamp name and i'll be making use of again this animated dot div clamp ti div clamp and this takes a three argument the one is the uh, animate this uh, so for the first argument, we will be passing this scroll by and then the minimum number and the maximum number. So the current uh, scroll is this, which is in this scroll y. So I'll be passing this scroll S C R O W L scroll y in here. And the minimum value will be zero and the maximum value will be the height of the header that is 45 for now. We should create a kind of a var variable uh, somewhere in the top and we can reuse that 45 because we, for, we are making use of the 45 in lots of places. But it's fine for now you can do that as well. I'll save this and I will again let's have a look on this. If I scroll down the header has been disappeared. Now if I scroll up from the any point. Oh, oh, I need to do one more thing. We haven't made use of this. So instead of interpolating over scroll by, I'll be interpolating over diff uh diff clamp like so if i save this up and if i scroll down the header is invisible and if, if i scroll up from any point i am now able to see the header right let's see scroll down a little bit now if i again scroll up from the any point again you can see the header is visible again but there's one more issue in here now, if I'm scrolling down here, you can see we have this empty space that is equivalent to the header height, right? I want this image to take the whole this, this space as well. Right now, this uh, the header space is being reserved here, right? If header is disappeared, then also we have this empty space sitting over there, right? You can see we have this empty space sitting over there. I want this image or this card to take this space as well. How to do that? Now this is basically a, uh, we need to add some of the styles in this header. I'll, I'll be adding this uh, position, position, P O S I T I N position of absolute, and I'll be writing here top uh, zero and left of zero and right and R I G S T right of zero. Now the issue should be solved. If I save this and now the header oh now header is basically behind our cards now header has been moved behind a card so for that we here we can add elevation to move it to the above of the card to move it to the above of the card right so here we can give a number let's say four now this may not work on ios uh, in ios we you can add this as uh, i z index i guess i z Oh, not I Z index. It's basically Z I N I N D E S, and yeah, this is for iOS, right? So we, you can put a very big number in here. 
right or i'll put a comma in here if i again have a look uh for some reason this is not working up why oh i need i need not to put this in, uh, index and elevation here instead i need to put these two values to the animation animated dot view can i'll do a control x from here i'll save this and instead i need to give this value to this animated view so i'll put a comma in here control v right yeah if i save this it should work now okay now you can see header again has been moved again to the top of the card now if you scroll down now you can see this card is taking whole space of our screen right and it's exactly how we want it to structure now you can see the header is being animating nicely right if we scroll down the header is being hidden if we scroll again up now header is being visible again right so this was a kind of a nice fun project right so yeah i'll see you guys in the next video now